A trailblazer in the fight against ALS was honored today by the school he attended. Boston College dedicated the Pete Frady Center. WBZ's Paul Burton says the ceremony was all about the contributions Frady's made to raising awareness and money for ALS research. On Saturday, Boston College unveiled the Pete Frady Center at Harrington Athletics Field. A state-of-the-art 31,000 square foot BC baseball and softball training facility that bears his name. We are just in awe of this magnificent building and honor to Pete and his legacy. Pete was a star outfielder and baseball team captain at Boston College. At the age of 27, Pete was diagnosed with ALS and became the inspiration behind the Ice Bucket Challenge. It's unbelievable and I just can't thank you all enough. Um, Pete loves this school and we love this school and this is going to be... Um, our greatest legacy. I'm thinking about Pete right now, I have to be honest with you. Um, just all the years of his love of this school. The impressive facility features an array of amenities, including large locker rooms, indoor artificial turf fields, medical strength and conditioning spaces, and a hospitality area. The project was made possible through several donors, with the Yaki Foundation being the lead funder. When Boston College told us that they were going to name Pete Frady's, we were all in. We wanted to support Pete's legacy. Pete's inspiring story and words are displayed throughout the walls of the facility. And now you can visually see the change that's come to BC baseball. I mean, honestly, my mind can't wrap around this amazing complex. Pete graduated from Boston College back in 2007. Now, 15 years later, he's being honored by the university he loves the most. And for every student athlete that steps foot in the Pete Frady Center will remember his legacy. To know that this in this building, future generations of baseball and softball players will be surrounded by Pete's presence fills our family with a joy that is indescribable. In Chestnut Hill, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.